31 entries parade to the post at Aintree. 100,000 are in the stands despite wet weather for the Grand National. This year's running the richest in the 129-year history of the world's toughest and most spectacular horse race. 30 jumps, four and a half miles, one of the most challenging ordeals in the world of sports. Every jump a hazard, and each takes its toll. By the time the first circuit is completed, the field is almost half eliminated. Never say when the early leader fades at the midpoint. Winberg, the favorite, is well back. It's Goosander leading as they go into the second circuit. Only ten horses left now. And Mr. Watt has come up fast. On the left, he's battling it out with Gusanda. Mr. Watt has the lead, and he's holding it. They're setting a fast pace this late in the race, and there's a contest developing for second place. Green Drill challenging Gusander, and another spill reduces the field to seven. Mr. Watt has a comfortable lead. Near still on the last jump, but he's still going and pulling away. A great race by the Irish thoroughbred and rider Arthur Freeman, the Queen Mother's jockey, as he brings in an 18 to 1 entry by 30 lengths. The winner's purse, $38,414. He's completely in the clear on the 484 yard stretch, and that soggy turf doesn't bother him at all. Beautiful race, eh, Watt? Mr. Watt? <laughs>